Our inquiries indicate that an improvised explosive device has been manufactured and our assumption so far is that it was built by the passenger in the taxi. The reason why he then took it to the women's hospital is unknown, as is the reason for its sudden explosion. Given all the circumstances, it has been declared a terrorist incident. There we obtained these videos of armed police bringing out a suspect in a backyard and today a fourth arrest was made on the same road. Tonight, this is the man they're being questioned in connection with. Police have named the passenger as 32-year-old Imad al-Swailmin. We understand he was an asylum seeker from Syria who'd lived for a while with this Christian couple in Liverpool converting to their faith. I've no idea at all. I mean, he lived here for eight months and we were living cheek by jowl. He was, um, I thought at that time, certainly very genuine. One thing I suppose to be thankful for, that he didn't kill anyone else. The couple believe Al Swailmin had a history of poor mental health. But he had been involved in an incident in, in the centre of town which involved a bridge and a knife. As a result of that, he was sectioned, and I believe he spent about six months in a, a mental institution of some sort. He'd also lived on this road on Rutland Avenue, where it's suspected a bomb may have been made. Today, a controlled explosion was carried out nearby as the Prime Minister condemned what he called a sickening attack, which has raised the terror threat substantially. The Independent Joint Terrorism Analysis Centre, JTAC, are today raising the UK's threat level from substantial to severe, meaning an attack is highly likely. As the nation remains on high alert tonight, at least the suspect in this attack only succeeded in being a threat to himself.